Hey, it's Christian the Workman Guy. We are back with another episode of Digital Nomad Cribs. Today you can see behind me the beach of Sayulita, Mexico. It's about a three hour direct flight from Denver, so really not too hard to get to. And you're gonna get some of those cool features you get flying halfway around the world, but not far from home. So we're gonna give you a tour of the villa, check out the town a little bit, and we'll break down how you can completely change your life or business with one small decision. Let's get it. My name is Christian, and I've gone from a broke pizza delivery driver to making millions of dollars online while working from 25 countries over six different continents. This series, Digital Nomad Cribs, is about what home looks like when you can work from anywhere in the world. Keep watching to see how and where I live while learning more about how to start, grow, and scale a work from anywhere online business, or visit digitalnomad.com to start your work from anywhere journey today. Sayulita actually started as a coconut palm ranch where coconut oil was produced. But in the 1940s, coconut production declined considerably and the locals resorted to agriculture and fishing. In about 1965, the highway started to come through here and tourism began. According to local legend, Sayulita was formed more than 5,000 years ago by the gods of the waves, who specifically created Sayulita as a place where the waves were perfect. All right, so we're outside our villa. You can see there's the hammock where I do my reading before book club. And we're just walking up the stairs and in the door. So we're gonna come up from there after we park our golf cart. We'll show you more about that later and walk through these doors right here. So when we come in the house, you're gonna notice it's a big wide open living area. It's a little bit weird. It took me about a day to get used to. And after that, I loved it. So we got a big, nice open kitchen here. It just opens right up to this expansive living room. And then you've got kind of this 70s style sunken couch over here. A little blend of the past and Mexico all in one. Not a bad place to do some work there. Not quite as good as the outside, which you'll see in a second. Um, but you can see it's nice and big and open in here. And what's cool about that is that all these windows open directly to the ocean. So when you step out of your bedroom in the morning, you just got that full ocean view. Now, if it was up to me, I'd knock out this whole wall to floor to ceiling glass windows, uh, but this is a really good start and we're gonna walk out on that terrace in just a second. You gotta watch out, there's a bunch of stone stairs in here and when it's dark, you can't really tell what's going on. So there's two stairs over there. Last night I stepped down in the dark and thought there's only one. I think I almost broke my kneecap in half. But here's the master bed. Uh, you know, a little small bed. We've got two people, but it, it's cool because it kind of opens up to the rest of the house here. Um, a nice fan up there because there is no air conditioning, but it gets pretty cool here at night, so not a big deal. Um, and then we're just gonna step out into here. And so you can see this ocean view from the master bedroom from basically the whole house. And we're gonna go to bedroom number two. Uh, this bedroom's a little smaller. Really just using it for the suitcase room right now, you know, which it's nice to have some space to, to put your stuff and spread out, but there's a little closet in here. But the cool thing about this room is if you walk up to the windows, you know, it's a little smaller than the master bedroom, but it looks out directly at the ocean. So you can see that from here. And then there's another bathroom here, which is really cool because you come in here and take a shower, as you can see in those shots. And when you go to the sink to brush your teeth, you're just looking right out the window at the ocean. So just a good vibe all around when you wake up in the morning, you can get your coffee and just walk right out onto this terrace and life is good. I mean, how can you go wrong waking up to the ocean like this? There's something so powerful about hearing the waves when you wake up. Now we come out here, full ocean view. You can see Sayulita Beach down there. If you go a little bit south, Playa de los Muertos. It's uh, next to a cemetery. That's why it's called Beach of the Dead. And uh, some cool like jungle houses up there on the hill. You can see with a little zoom. And then we'll come over here and we've got the um, coffee slash work slash reading table where you can sit out here in the morning enjoy some coffee look over the beach and life is good so that's it for the villa pretty affordable to live here it's not Bali level cheap or anything but we are in Mexico so a lot cheaper than being in the US there is amazing Mexican food all over town so you could just eat for days in Sayulita and still not experience it all um, everybody here drives around golf cart so let's go jump in the cart and take a look around Being in Sayulita is like being in a completely different world than being back in Denver. And all it took was a couple of clicks on my keyboard to book the ticket and a few hours on a flight to be here. 
But I did have to break my routine, so it was a good reminder that in life and in business, a completely new reality is only a couple of clicks away. If you're feeling stuck, or you've been in the same place for too long, and you want things to be different but they're not, book a plane ticket, join a coaching program, or go to a live event. It will show you a different world and could be the stepping stone to a new reality. One thing is for sure, it will show you something different than what you have now. And if you don't do something different, you'll keep getting what you've got. So that's it for another episode of Digital Nomad Cribs. We're here in Sayulita, Mexico. If you're thinking about coming to check it out, hour north of Puerto Vallarta, totally worth the trip. Highly recommend you get a golf cart like everybody else in town so that you can explore very easily. It's a small town so you can walk if you want, but it gets pretty hot in the middle of the day. And then of course, get out to the beach, enjoy it. That's all for today, see you on the next one. Starting and scaling a business is hard enough as it is. You don't have to do it alone. Learn how to use the power of marketing to build a life you don't need a vacation from and join the WFA family at digitalnomad.com. Fucking eagle double